Hi everyone, welcome back to Storytime Online. Today we're going to read from a series called Tales from History, T-A-I-L-S, because these are stories about animals with tales from history. And this one is A Raccoon at the White House, and it's by Rachel Dougherty. So this is a true story about a raccoon who used to live in the White House. The year was 1926. Nestled in, a pa in paper, a critter peeked out of her box. Shiny shoes walked toward her. Suddenly, the box sprang open. The president and first lady looked down and gasped. There was, they were very surprised to find a raccoon. The first lady frowned, peeking into the box. A raccoon to eat for Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, not for us. We'll just keep her. And they called the raccoon Rebecca. Rebecca was in good company at the White House. President Calvin Coolidge and his wife, Grace, loved pets. There were so many birds and cats and dogs. One of the cats, Tiger, liked to be worn as a scarf. Do you see her around President Cleveland's neck? Knowing the Coolidge's loved all animals, foreign leaders sent pets as gifts. Calvin welcomed them all. There were some lion cubs from South Africa and 13 Pekin dunklings. Still, Rebecca was special. Calvin and Grace built Rebecca a tree house, but she ate most of her meals with the family. Rebecca ate chicken, shrimp, and a type of fruit called persimmons, but she liked eggs the most. At the White House Easter egg roll, Rebecca couldn't understand why everyone chased the eggs instead of eating them. Rebecca loved Calvin and Grace. Their donkey, Ebenezer, did too. Rebecca was always waiting for Calvin to finish his work. He was the only one who liked to play with her. She tried to play with Old Bill, Calvin's pet bird, but Old Bill was not interested. The wallaby from Tasmania hopped up and down the stairs but raccoons aren't made for hopping. Calvin's bobcat, Smokey, or the big black bear from Mexico might have been Rebecca's friends, but they were never home. Neither was Calvin's pygmy hippo, who Calvin said swam all day in a pond across town. Rebecca swam in her tub all alone. So Rebecca had to make her own fun. She tore up sheets, got into the garbage, and chewed all of the president's shoes. Shame on you, scolded Grace. Beastly, said Calvin. For the first time, the staff at the White House was grumpy. They loved the dogs and cats. They whistled with the birds, but Rebecca did not fit in. Sometimes Grace disappeared. I'm sorry, sometimes Rebecca disappeared. Calvin and Grace would find her at the edges of the property. Calvin and Grace knew Rebecca needed a new home with other raccoons. They took her uptown to a place as special as she was. There were sticks to chew on. There were rocks to scratch. Rebecca chased and tumbled and wrestled all day. She loved her new raccoon friends. Grace and Calvin were relieved, and they were glad they lived so close to the National Zoo. The End how about it? Would you like to have a raccoon in your house? I don't think I would. 
But I know many people love animals and pets, and it's interesting to read about them in this series called Tales from History. And we have more Tales from History at the library featuring different animals with famous people. Stop in and see us. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.